Hello everyone, welcome to Chillopedia. This is Maxim. You just heard the beautiful etude by Kumer. Let's try to play it. The only thing we need to learn here is how to play in the second position. So that's the topic of our lesson today. Now let's play the first exercise for the second position. We need to figure out where to put the first finger on the A string, how to make it to sound like C. One of the ways to do it is if you try to imagine how it might sound. You might sing it if you like to sing, or just think about that. Imagine you're the best singer in the world. And can you try it now? Okay, now let's compare. So, was it close? I hope so. So, uh, the first note of this exercise is C with the first finger. And right away you need to make a half step shift to C sharp. time. Remember that every shift, no matter how far you make it or how close, is a slide. So your first finger in this case must be on the strain and strain has to be pressed in full contact with the fingerboard. So, when you make a shift, all fingers move along with the first finger, including the thumb. Make sure your thumb is not stuck in the previous position. So, you make a shift from C natural to C sharp, moving all the fingers. Let's try it. Now we have to make a half step shift back. In this case, all four fingers will stay on the string. Did you get it? Let's try it again. Starting from E with the fourth finger. And now let's play first three measures of this exercise on the A string. Now we'll move to the D string, just reminding you, you make a shift and all fingers go alone. Doesn't matter if you make a shift up or down. So now D string. Did you want to try one more time? Let's do it. Now 
now to GStream. Do you remember from our previous lessons that you have to adjust the bow position on the stream when you go from top two strings to low? So on the GStream, make sure that you turn wrist so the bow has the different angle. And you will see if you make mistake. If you start playing and right away your bow will start sliding up or down the stream, that means you will make mistake. So that example you will see is how not to play. Quick solution? You turn the bow. Okay, let's go back to our exercise and now we play on the G string. And one more time. Try to keep fingers close to the string when you're not using them. For now, you play fairly slow, but when you play faster, you will notice that that moving fingers that much will not help you to be fast and precise. And what do you have left on the C string? Enjoy such a deep sound on the C string. Let's play it again. Beautiful. Okay. So let's now work on the etude of Kumar, but in a slower tempo, quarter note 52. Isn't it enjoyable attitude to play? Regardless if you play it in a slower or faster tempo. Of course you notice that there is a second cello part. So for Cellopedia Patreon supporters, 
I recorded the second part. So everyone who supports Chalopedia can enjoy playing it alone with uh, videos of the second part. But you can bring this uh, music to your cello teacher or friend and I'm sure you will enjoy playing it together. So uh, let's now work on the exercise at the bottom of the page. So uh, we'll have to make shifts from the first to the second position. Just remember the key is to imagine how notes in the second position will sound before you make a shift and when you make a shift you slide on the string. You never hop like this. Let's try it. Do you want to do it a bit slower? Let's do it together. So, of course, you notice that in this edition, every time you have to make a shift, you have a number in bigger font. So it's telling you, okay, it's time to make a shift. So in the first measure of this exercise, you make a shift to D with the second finger and you make a shift to D with the fourth finger on the way back. Let's do it. Mm. have to play in a half position B flat and then from the half position to make all the way to the second position and then when you get back fourth finger on the D don't forget to extend the first finger to get B flat mm. times to make it right. Okay, the third measure, now you make a shift from B to C sharp on the way up. So it's a whole step shift. Much bigger shift than a half step. measure of this exercise 
we have D sharp. So uh, there is no extension on the way up, but then on the way down, you'll have to extend the first finger between C sharp and B. Let's do it in a slower tempo. Let's work on exercise which will combine first and second positions. So first I'll play it for you in a bit faster tempo, quarter note 80. Try to follow it with your score and after that I will play in slower tempo. Let's play this etude in a slower tempo, quarter note 52. By the way, I usually give the example in a slower tempo and a faster tempo. Feel free to experiment. You can start even in a slower tempo and then gradually few clicks up, up, up. You can bring it to the faster tempo and this faster tempo might be faster than I play, or a bit slower. You're an, an artist. It's always your goal. Thank you. 
It was so great to have you here. Please come back for more cello music and lessons of Piatti cello method.